Hi there, everybody. How y'all doing today? Thanks for coming by. I thought I'd sneak out here and take a quick look at this, this machine and see if I can't figure out some way to get it to run. I know when you turn the key, nothing happens. He's got a bunch of the safety switches unplugged and stuff. And uh, I think I'm gonna have to pull the gas tank out so I can get in behind there where the solenoid and the key switch and that kind of stuff is. Let's see what I can figure out. So let's get into it. Hey everybody, how you doing today? Cool, good to see you. Thanks for coming by. I gotta work on this mower a little bit. Let me show you what I got in mind. Well, here's a quick look at it. And uh, it's 18 horsepower, opposed twin, Briggs and Stratton. I think if I remove this gas tank, I can get down in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I got the gas tank loose. And I thought it was gonna come right out of there, but of course not, you know. It's, it's hung up between this body side panel and the engine is kind of caught in there. But I can get to the solenoid. And I found a fuse, one of these rascals, and it's not testing out to be any good. So, the first thing I'm going to do is try to find one of those. I think I had some of them in the shop somewhere. I just got to look around see if I can find them. And replace that and see if anything happens. And uh, then, of course, I got to find out why it blew, you know. But, uh... I thought it was going to be pretty easy to get that tank out of the way. I'd be able to get in there and work. But it looks like in order to get the tank out any further, I either have to remove the motor or I have to remove all that stuff off the rear end, the seat, the fenders, the side panels off the frame there. So, I don't know what's going to happen with that. I'm, first of all, I'm going to try to find a fuse. Okay, I found some fuses and put one in there. I'm just going to turn the switch and see if anything happens. Negative. Well, that didn't help. I also found in behind the dash there some wires hanging down that aren't plugged into anything. Hmm. I really just want to hear this thing run. So I am going to attempt to just jump across the solenoid with a pair of pliers. I pick up all these little nuts and bolts before I do though because if it does start I don't want them vibrating off in the grass. Alright, let's see what happens. Well, it acts as if the battery doesn't have enough juice to turn it over. So, again, back to the drawing board. Alright, so where were we? I had to stop and mow my grass and charge the battery up. And I have not mastered this thing yet. But I am able to get in here and bump start the solenoid with a pair of pliers. And we're just going to start it up, if it has enough juice. Yep, she's a runner. All right, pardon my uh, barking dogs here. We've got the house next door is for sale. We got all kinds of people coming over and looking, and they just go psycho. So here's the deal with this thing: the gas tank. I can't get it to come out of there, so I can access the wire harness without either removing the motor or pulling the dash off. 
which I haven't done yet. There's a safety switch on it somewhere. It's keeping everything from working, I believe, because the key, key doesn't turn it on and the key doesn't turn it off. You saw how I had to kill it. That's the kill wire. I actually had to touch it back to the sweet spot on the motor there to get it to die. And I know I could jump in, you know, splice in jumper wires with switches for starting and killing. But I really don't want to do that. I just want to fix it right and uh, figure out what the problem is and disable that. So, yeah, my dilemma is I want to remove the engine. You know, put the engine loose so I can get the gas tank out so I can get it in access out. Or do I want to tackle the deck? Either way, I'm going to have to do something. <coughs> but it seems to be quite a runner. And uh, I think it's going to be just a dandy. So there'll be more to come on this in the future when I get that far. And uh, I'll keep you all posted. All right, so you all let me know what you think about this. If you got any bright ideas about getting that gas tank out of there, it would be the easiest way to go about it. Uh, anything else you might want to tell me, let me know. Thanks for coming by, and I'll see you all later. Cheers. <laughs> Yesterday he had a for rent sign on it. This morning he has a for sale sign on it. I was going to ask him if he'd rent me just the garage. And now he's trying to unload the whole property, so that won't work. So, anyway.